the value of acceleration due to gravity may change. There are three, four reasons. The first reason we will see if we are taking the value of g at a location and that location is higher than the surface of the earth, then the value of g will change. How much will it change? We can find out, we can calculate. This is surface of the earth from the center. It is at a distance of radius of the earth. Suppose there is an object here which has got a mass m and it is at a height of h. Okay. Now, we know mass of the earth we take as mass of the earth. How much should be the force between the two? Here, if we allow it to move, fall, then it will fall with an acceleration A that will be acceleration here and its mass is m. So this force. How much is this force? This is the force of attraction between the two and that is g m m upon r plus h square. What is this? Distance. Here is r, this is h. This is the one. So this is acceleration due to gravity. Because this is acceleration due to gravity, we will write it g. But this is not on the surface. So let us make a little change. D dash. So g dash, that is acceleration due to gravity at certain height. Or we can write it g h. Acceleration at height h is equal to this. Now, what is the acceleration at surface? Acceleration at surface is equal to g m upon r square. Which is larger? This denominator is smaller. This denominator is large. Therefore, this quantity is smaller. This way. So, the acceleration due to gravity at a height will always be less than acceleration at the surface. G at height is always less than G on surface. This. So, G decreases. And what is the formula? This is the formula. If we want to compare the two, then G at height is equal to, let us divide the two. This is equal to R plus H square upon r square gme gme cancels so this is get reverse so it is this way okay gh upon gs gh upon gs no let me correct it they are inverse so gh upon gs when you divide the two, then R will go up and R plus H will come down. This. So, acceleration at height is equal to, acceleration at height is equal to, this will go here, acceleration at the surface multiplied with R upon r plus h square this and this quantity is less than 1 that means gh is smaller than gs. So this is the equation which help us to find out g at a height h. We will put the value of h here. We will put the value of r here that is 6400 kilometer 
and this is acceleration at surface we will find acceleration at a height h sometimes we get a question at what height the acceleration due to gravity will become one fourth of gravity at this surface one fourth so this we can write as one fourth gravity at surface is equal to r square upon r plus h square or the whole square gs gs is cancelled take square root of both the sides so r upon r plus h is equal to 1 upon 2 and here you can calculate 1 upon 2 so h has to be equal to r so at a height which is equal to 6400 kilometer the value of acceleration will become one fourth this is how we solve the numericals with help of this okay we have another shortcut if this height is very small close by then we can derive this formula differently see how we can derive it uh, this is gh is equal to gs and this we can write as r plus h upon r and make it minus 2 that can be done okay so this is equal to 1 plus h upon r to the power minus 2 now 1 plus h upon r to the power minus 2 this we can extend using binomial theorem so first term will be 1 second term will be minus 2 h upon r and third term will have square of h and square of r something here now this term and further terms this one minus plus in all these terms h is very small compared to r so small compared to r that this whole quantity does not mean anything we can neglect it because h is very small compared to r higher terms higher terms of h upon r are neglected therefore gh is equal to only two terms 1 minus 2h upon r this is to be multiplied with g on the surface this becomes a very simple one no square nothing else and this tells us that <clears throat> at height this will decrease by this factor when the height is increasing then gh is decreasing but this formula can be applied not for this question because here the height is very large this can be applied only for small height and we have to decide more will be the height more will be the error so if there is a hill which is at a height of 4 kilometer at a height of 5 kilometer we can use this formula an aeroplane flying at a height of 10 kilometer we can apply this formula. that's right but if you are going far away in the space at a distance of 1000, 2000, 6000, 20,000 kilometer, then we cannot apply this formula. Then we have to go by this formula. So, this is the difference of application which student must take note. Okay, so at height, we remember the acceleration due to gravity will always decrease. This is for small height, this is for larger height. Okay, so these calculations we have already done.
in the next lecture we will see if we go inside the earth at certain depth what will happen to g is it going to increase that we will see in the next lecture thank you